Now then, closing a school is always controversial, but today the issue actually brought one East Midlands town to a standstill. Yes, parents and children took to the streets in Rutland in a last-ditch attempt to save not one school, but two. Our education correspondent, Matt Udell, reports now from Uppingham. Save our schools! Save People power in action. Uppingham hasn't seen anything like it for years. Rutland County Council wants to shut the town's two primary schools and replace them with a brand new one. Good news on the face of it, but many aren't so sure. I don't think we should close the schools. It's very, very good and I like it. We have two fantastic schools. There are a lot of schools in the country and even in the county who really need that money. And we don't, so please don't give it to us. Lyfield and Uppingham Church of England primaries are both popular and successful. But one in four of all Rutland primary places are empty and that's expensive. The government's offered over £4 million for new school buildings, but it has to be spent in Uppingham. This new development, if it goes ahead, will definitely have an impact on the quality of standards that are achieved by children in Uppingham and the surrounding area. There is no doubt about it. But on the streets, the argument's not being won. It really demonstrates the strength of feeling here. I mean, to have all these people turn out this morning and uh, all the children from both schools, it's absolutely wonderful. But it's just what we expected. This protest petition presented today has been signed by more than half the population of Uppingham. This is the problem education authorities face. They can make decisions about closing schools in the cold light of day, but they have to deal with emotion like this. The fate of the mergers now rests with a special committee later this month. If its members are split, an independent adjudicator will have the final say. The protesters still believe they can win. The battle isn't over. Matt Udell, East Midlands Today, Rutland.